Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, I finally picked up the new Zippo insert. I've had it for a couple days now and I think it's finally time to talk about it a little bit here. So I have it in this uh, 2018 uh, black case. Um, this is the uh, the case I was using for one of the off-brand uh, inserts because occasionally I do like carrying a Zippo with a butane insert. But this is the new insert right here. This is what it looks like. All right, so it works totally fine. I do have some thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, first off, I do like the fact that it is all metal construction. I think that's a big thumbs up. No plastic going on here. It's just metal on metal. It is solid and sturdy. Uh, I really like the fact that it has the wheel, okay? So it, what happens here is you're striking the wheel like a normal Zippo, okay, to light the fuel. But in this case, it's butane fuel. There's a little button that's underneath the wheel. So if I'm quiet, you can hear the gas come out. All right, so in one motion, you're pulling down on the wheel, and as you're pulling down, you're throwing sparks and hitting the button, so the sparks are lighting the fuel that's coming out. And as long as you hold your finger down on the button, it stays lit. When you let go, it goes out. So you have a, a more traditional feel than a lot of the other Zippo butane inserts that have torch flames and, and so forth, even Zippo branded ones. So I like that it's metal. I like they incorporated the wheel, all right, super cool. Um, there's no way that I know of to keep it lit. Like a regular Zippo, you would just spark it and it would just stay lit. That's, that's the whole thing, right? It stays lit until you shut the lid or you really, you know, blow on it until the, the flame goes out. Um, so you lose a little bit of that, I suppose, if you like a hands-free thing, if you wanted to use your Zippo and, you know, place it down on the uh, table and just have it stay lit. That would have been a cool feature. I don't know how they would really incorporate that. Um, Maybe if once it's down and lit, you could push the button in or something and click it in so it stays lit and, you know, until you unclick it. I don't really know. I'm not an engineer, but uh, I think that would be a kind of a cool feature, but I'm not really disappointed it's not there. It is what it is. The only thing that does disappoint me, though, is there's no view window for the fuel. All right. And I don't like that because when I first got this, I filled it up, put it in the lighter or in the case, and it didn't work. Uh, that's because I didn't fill it up. I had the nozzle on there. I do use uh, Zippo Blue, uh, the actual Zippo brand butane fuel. Um, but for whatever reason, I just it wasn't filling. So uh, I thought I filled it, but I didn't. So I like to just see an actual level there because when you're using this, you know it, it could be low on fuel, and you're not going to know until it just doesn't work or your flame is super low. The only other negative uh, I would see on this is that there's no way to adjust the flame. The screw that's on the bottom here is the screw for the flint tube to replace the flint on the wheel. Okay, so this is not an adjustment for flame size. In fact, I don't see any way to adjust the flame. It's going to come out and the flame's going to be as high as about this. Of course, if you have one of these, you guys can let me know uh, if yours is different than this one. But there's no way to adjust it. All right, I did notice as I ran out of fuel that the flame was a lot smaller because literally there was only a little bit of fuel dribbling out. Uh, so that's really the only the only negatives. The positive to this, the major positive, and why you would even get one in the first place, well, it's actually twofold. Number one, if you love Zippos, but you hate the way they smell, here's your solution. You get everything you love about a Zippo, only it doesn't smell. I happen to love this smell. It's part of the whole experience of having a Zippo. But if you don't like that smell, but you like the idea of a Zippo lighter, butane is the way to go. It's a cleaner burning fuel, and it doesn't stink. Um, the other positive is if you fill this with butane fuel and you put it down on a dresser or leave it in your pocket or leave it in your car, week after week after week, it's still going to be in there. The inherent downside to the original Zippo design is that the fuel slowly leaks out until it's gone. Uh, I can't tell you how many countless times I filled a Zippo brand new, used it once or twice, came back four weeks later, and guess what? Nothing. Because the fuel just leaked out slowly. It's just what happens. It's not a sealed system. So if number one, you don't like the smell, and number two, you don't like that your lighter's always empty, even after you fill them, because you haven't used them and it just slowly leaks fuel, well, this is a product for you. Um, I like it just because I like the variety. I do like the soft flame over the you know torch flame or blue flame. I think that's a nice touch. It does have more of an original feel, not only with the soft yellow flame, but also this wheel. I think the wheel is a big part of it. I think that's super cool that they use the wheel as opposed to electric you know, click uh, type button or, or ignition system. So here's the uh, box it came with. It says built to last, reusable, pocket sized, easy ignition, and reliable spark. 
Um, the other side says cleaner burning, and there's an asterisk there, and it says compared to Zippo lighter fuel, as I mentioned, you know, it is cleaner burning fuel. Yellow flame, uh, refillable with butane fuel, flint wheel ignition, fits all regular Zippo lighter cases. That is nice too. Uh, I do have to point that out as I've used multiple uh, third party brands and some of them are a little loose, some of them are a little tight and you do have to kind of bend your case a little bit. Uh, there was one particular case, I don't remember which one it was, but it was, it was enough rattle that I had to put a single layer of electrical tape on the body of the insert so that it, it fit in nicely. You can see this has some raised portions on both sides. That's what's making contact, okay, with the case so you're not scraping the front. It does have some uh, some writing on here. Take a look at that real quick. Zippo Manufacturing Company, Bradford, PA, USA. You can see it is dated A22. So this was manufactured January 2022. All right, Z8A20. I'm not sure what that stands for. And on the back, your regular warning. Uh, keep out of reach of children. Ignite away from face and clothing. Be sure flame is out before use. Um, contains flammable gas under pressure. Do not keep lit for more than 30 seconds. Manufactured in China to Zippo quality standards. Well, that's unfortunate, but I kind of knew that because the Zippo manufacturing company uh, outsources a lot of their other stuff that's not just their regular Zippo. So that might have been pretty disappointing to hear for some of you guys, Zippo being the all-American company that it is made right here in northern Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, but they're outsourcing for these inserts. It's just cost effective. If they were to create all the machinery, buy all that stuff that's necessary to make these in-house, uh, these would be a lot more expensive, okay? This was 20 bucks on Amazon. You'd probably pay 60 or $70 for one if they made it here, and that's no joke. Maybe even more, who knows? So, although I don't like the idea that this wonderful historic American company since 1932 is outsourcing China for their inserts, I get it. It's just what everyone does. It's just a way to make ends meet and make a product that's actually somewhat affordable these days. Um, but that's what it is. I do like it. I think it's really neat. You still get the, the Zippo feel. You get the, the lid popping, but you're not getting this like click and a you know jet flame coming out the top. You still get the wheel. You get to actually spark the thing. You get the um, you know soft yellow flame. This is great for for pipes. Um, you know, there's a lot of different applications where you might prefer the soft flame over a, um, you know, a harsh, fast butane, uh, you know, jet flame. It's just kind of cool. I do like it. it it's more uh, closer to the traditional Zippo feel. That's it. But again, the advantage of no smell and, of course, the advantage of holding the fuel in. Uh, so if you're not using it for a longer duration of time, it still has fuel in it which is nice, that, that it really is the biggest setback to any Zippo lighter, is you keep filling the thing and filling the thing. It doesn't matter if you use it or not, you gotta keep filling it, because it keeps evaporating, you know what I mean? And there's all kinds of different ways people try to solve that problem, but ultimately it's, it's not convenient. So there you go, that is the new Zippo insert. I do think it's neat. Uh, I can definitely, um, you know, enjoy the, the, the pros of it. The cons aren't that big of a deal. If it gets low, I'll have to just, you know, keep refilling it and, and figuring out about how long the fuel lasts, but it's just kind of hard to, to guess that, especially with butane. With a regular Zippo lighter, even though it evaporates, you have a general idea. For me, it's always been about three or four weeks. If I don't use a Zippo in about three or four weeks, if I fill it about three quarters of the way filled or whatever, it's starting to get low, it starts to go out. You know, I can lift the, the pad up on the insert, kind of gauge how dry it looks, you know, things like that. Um, but this is just, just kind of guesswork. You know, after you use it for a while, you might get a better understanding of how long it lasts, and if you do fill this tank, how long that's gonna work for you in your personal situation, whether you're lighting cigarettes every day or lighting candles, whatever you're doing with your lighter, um, you'll have to figure that out on your own, how long that gas is actually uh, lasting in there. But uh, anyway, can't leave without a little Zippo trick here, so I'm gonna pop that, swing it around, and light it up. So you can still do your, your Zippo tricks. And what is nice about that is that on a standard uh, traditional Zippo, the chimney gets really smoking hot. Like you touch that thing, it's gonna just, you know, it's gonna scar you like cattle, uh, like you're getting branded or something. Um, whereas this, it does say not to leave it lit for more than 30 seconds, but um, even after leaving it lit here, let's see, I don't know how long we've been going, maybe 10 seconds or something. It's very cool. I can keep my, my fingertip on there. All right, so even after, you know, repeated lights, if you're doing different types of tricks and stuff, um, you know, it's gonna stay fairly cool for you. So you're not gonna burn yourself. 
So anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the interest. You guys forced my hand to buy this thing, and I have no regrets. I think it's pretty cool. Totally worth the 20 bucks. Um, I do like like the Thunderbird and you know some of the other Z Plus inserts, and there's, there's a bunch of them out there, and I use them all. And I think they're really neat. I even have the plasma one. That's what I was using in this case before this one. But I dig it. I really do like it. It's the truest to the original design. Uh, what's huge for me, it's not even just the yellow flame. It's the fact that I actually get to spin a wheel. That's what you do with a Zippo. You spin a wheel. You don't click a button. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely like it. One more shot here before we go. So yeah, if you got 20 bucks sitting in your bank account and you're interested in that upgrade for your Zippo lighter, I'd say it's a good choice. That's all. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.